Well, how do your people is? A lot of people are asking me what the heck is going on with the UKC. Why the heck is the UKC banning a certain breed? And so on. Well, the breed that they're banning is the American Bully. It is a breed that was established in the 1980s to 1990s in the U.S. And this is what they can look like. This is the American Bully Kennel Club website. Run by the American Bully Kennel Club. Which was established in 2004 by David Wilson. Who says he is the founder of this breed. The main founder. There's a second person. I haven't yet been able to identify who that person is. But basically right here in this description of the breed uh, characteristics and so on it says that the breed is never supposed to be human or animal aggressive um, it is very undesirable trait it is a companion breed and it's never supposed to look like the American Bubble Terrier even though that is in its ancestry it is never supposed to look like that. Um, that's what they want the ears to look like for this breed. And that's what the head should look like. Um, they want a scissors bite. They want this kind of conformation. They give the whole thing of what they want for their feet, for their front. They describe with photos, well, sketches, of what they want the dogs to look like. They don't look anything like the American Pitbull Terrier. Please stop mislabeling this breed as the American Pitbull Terrier. Do not call it a Pitbull. It is not the same. It is not the same at all. It's its own breed. Color and pattern. All colors and patterns are permissible except for merle or blotched. Disqualifying faults are merle or blotched. Um, They are supposed to be 17 to 20 inches tall at the withers for males. Females may be 16 to 19 inches tall at the withers. The withers are right there. Right at the very top of the shoulders. That's where they measure their height. And let's see. They're not supposed to have any kind of aggression issues. They're not supposed to be um, pink or albino eyes or blue eyes. They're not supposed to have a dark tail. They're not supposed to look like anything other than their own breed. And this breed is definitely an, its own breed. Once a kennel club has said that they have a breed standard for a dog and they develop pedigree papers for it and all that stuff it's a breed it really frustrates me that this is being mislabeled to this day as a breed it's not it is not an, a pit bull at all Pitbull is a completely different thing, um, like these guys. Okay. It's kind of blurry, I know. But I mean, they're supposed to be a working breed that, um, <clears throat> looks like, like mine, can look like this. This is what mine looks like. See? She's my well-bred, purebred. And then there's this guy. 
the ADBA forces people to uh, reclass dogs based on bloodlines. They don't care what the pedigree papers say too much um, if, you know, it has the American Bully bloodlines, they reclass it. They don't care what the DNA test results say if you've done a DNA test. Um, I have tested these guys. This is my friend's dog over here. He's an American Pit Bull Terrier. And I have tested a client's former dog. Former client's dog, I mean, sorry. Now, this dog has no pedigree papers, but Embark listed him as an American bully. And <laughs> He may look a little annoyed here, but he's really friendly. See, his confirmation is really, really different. That is what an American bully can look like. He, um, he's really kind of funny. I still sometimes walk him, so he's kind of not former so much, but he is sort of former um, client. The bloodlines for the American Bully example bloodlines can be Razor's Edge, Gaudy Line, Gaudy, uh, Remy Line, Mike Lenz. Chaos, Iron Cross, Monster G, Camelot, Butthead, Dax, Paco, Corrupt, and some other really ghetto sounding, to me anyway, ghetto sounding names. Um, he just looks so puzzled here. <laughs> Funny fellow. But yeah, see, I even... I even took video of him walking and stuff with me because that's what I would do. I would basically walk him. I'd trim his nails every so often as well. Funny fellow. He was very friendly to me and to everybody else we met. He just looks kind of annoyed here, that's all. But he was really friendly. And that is that for that. So yeah, like I said, once a kennel club or a dog registry organization starts, you know, creating pedigree papers for a dog under a certain breed thing, it's a breed. Okay. Um. It does the dogs no good when you keep mislabeling. It's not fair to the breeds at all when you do that, especially when the UK, oh my gosh, the people in the United Kingdom, like England, Scotland, Ireland, and I think France, I think that area, certain areas of those countries, are dealing with a ban on the American bully and my friend was like what in the world is going on and why and so I've had to explain and I've had to explain and explain what the heck is the difference between the American bully and the American Pitbull Terrier they they are so different it's it's ridiculous the Kennel clubs and stuff, they um, make it very clear the American Bully should not look like a terrier whatsoever. Um, they do not want it to look like the Pipple Terrier at all, the American Pipple Terrier. 
So please, please, please stop mislabeling the American bully as pit bull when it's not. It is not that breed at all. Okay? It has nothing to do with it. It's totally separate breed. With totally separate standard and everything. So, yeah. This problem keeps coming up and it's really, really frustrating. Alright, well, later y'all. Praise God, I have... It is now Shabbat and I gotta go, so... Later y'all. Shabbat Shalom!